In the late 1960s, many American car manufacturers faced significant competition from European and Japanese companies in the compact car segment. To counter this trend, Ford introduced a new model, the Ford Pinto, which was developed from scratch. The name Pinto translates to the spotted coat of a horse. Unlike the company's traditional models, this car was equipped with only four cylinders instead of six or eight. And the interior featured separate seats instead of the usual front bench for American buyers. From 1970 to 1980, the American company produced the compact car Ford Pinto. While it was highly successful in terms of sales, it also significantly damaged the company's reputation. The creation of this car was driven by the fuel crisis, which immediately impacted muscle cars and similar vehicles equipped with powerful and fuel-hungry engines. Additionally, during those years, the United States saw an influx of small displacement models from Europe and Japan. These cars were quite comfortable and highly fuel-efficient, making them extremely relevant. Ford's leadership decided to embark on the development of such cars, inspired by the success of the corporation's European branches in this direction. Initially, attention was focused on the popular European model Ford Cortina, which had significant demand in the UK. However, it did not achieve commercial success in the US, leading to the decision to develop a car from scratch. Taking into account the peculiarities of the American automotive market and the experience of the European division, as a result, the Ford Pinto was introduced on September 11, 1970. Priced at only $1,850, it became the most affordable model in Ford's lineup, bringing it closer in price to its Japanese and European competitors. This car was conceived as a significant breakthrough for the company. Its stylish design and incredibly low price garnered attention. Introduced in 1971, the Ford Pinto became known for serious safety issues. This compact car gained a notorious reputation due to a design defect that made it prone to explosions and rear-end collisions. The placement of the fuel tank and the lack of reinforcement made the Pinto susceptible to ruptures, leading to tragic fires. This serious safety issue resulted in numerous lawsuits and tarnished Ford's reputation. Owners and experts regularly noted the Pinto's low build quality, handling issues, and limited engine power. The interior faced criticism for uncomfortable seats, the use of cheap materials, and limited features. Additionally, the fuel efficiency of the Pinto turned out to be low even for its time, falling short of the expectations of economical consumers. The main distinction from European models was the intended purpose of the car. European cars were primarily designed as family vehicles, while the Ford Pinto was originally conceived as a youth-oriented car. It represented a scaled-down version of the same muscle car concept, retaining external features similar to them. The exterior of the Ford Pinto featured a simple yet stylish and aggressive design. Round headlights, initially placed at the front, were later replaced with rectangular ones positioned on either side of the long grille. The car had a long hood, flared fenders with voluminous wheel arches, and a chrome front bumper adorned with characteristic fangs. On the side, the Ford Pinto showcased long doors with shiny moldings along the windows and chrome accents on the doors extending onto the fenders. The attention-grabbing rear of the hatchback featured a large rear window occupying a significant portion of the door, framed by the same shiny border. The rear bumper and taillight trim also stood out with chrome elements. 